Hello everyone. I pray you all are healthy, safe, and in the best case, at home today. No matter where we are though, I know that we are all digitally gathered here at the 2020 India Inclusion Summit for two reasons. First, people with disabilities live in a world that wasn't built for them and that doesn't treat them equally. Second, we want to eradicate the social injustice by creating an inclusive India and world. But before we figure out how to do that, I believe we must first define the words disability and inclusion. If we can do so collectively, then we can level the playing fields of society for all, regardless of ability. So first, what does it mean to be disabled? For some of us, it's a word that shouldn't exist because it's too condemning to those who have been given this label. For others of us, disability isn't a physical, mental, or social limitation, but rather, in the words of the late uh, Sean Stephenson, it is one's refusal to adapt. For still others of us, disability is an empowering word, a reminder that really there is no such thing as normal, and we all should embrace that. But what if all these definitions are valid? Think about it. On one hand, the word disabled means not abled, and that to me reveals why society has marginalized people like us from the very beginning. Because it's always seen us as a problem that must be fixed. Society sees our differences of ability and different ways of experiencing the world and then equates them to disabilities. And this leads people to believe that we must be fixed to be fully integrated into society. It's a vicious cycle of circular logic. But we are not really disabled. Most of us are just differently abled. The concept of neuroplasticity proves this. And I believe this is more profound than the adage, when one door closes, another door opens. Maybe. If we were created by a god, maybe he made people with disabilities to show us just how powerful he is, that his purpose can be accomplished with people of all different abilities. And herein lies the first and foremost aspect of what I believe is an inclusive society, having a welcoming mindset. Because we can build as many ramps and elevators and braille signs and text-to-speech programs as we want. We can make healthcare not just free and universal everywhere, but also make it non-discriminatory. We can make policies that ensure that people of all abilities are educated and taken care of and treated with respect by governments and businesses alike. But if we do not eradicate the stereotype that our inability to do certain things equals disability, people will simply think we are fighting for change because we feel entitled to it. But we are not entitled. We've simply been robbed of some basic human rights. And I believe the best way we can show this is true is by leading by example. We as a community can prove to the rest of the world that the true definition of disability is not a physical, mental, or social limitation, but, as I've said earlier, the unwillingness to adapt to life's uncertainty. As a person with osteogenesis imperfecta, I've had over 130 fractures since I was born. I've also had countless surgeries, which have earned me eight rods and 22 screws throughout my body.
which I wear proudly. Interestingly, however, what seems to be unlovable for others is normal for me. I've realized that, as the Greek philosopher Heraclitus worded well, change is the only constant. And for that reason, I've chosen to make uncertainty my close friend. And I believe that if we all do that, we will write ourselves into the narrative of history because our adaptivity will be the fuel that drives us to make the world inclusive for all people of all abilities. So yes, on one hand, disabled means not abled. And on the other hand, disabled really just means not being open to adapt. But not everyone has realized this. And whether we like it or not, the world is not going to stop calling us disabled anytime soon. But I don't think that's a bad thing. People derided by society have reclaimed their labels so many times. Did you know, for example, that the word Christian was coined not by followers of Jesus, but by their adversaries, who disparagingly called them little Christs? Or perhaps you might know that the word queer traditionally means strange or peculiar, and it was used to insult non-heterosexuals and non-cisgender people until that same group reappropriated the term in the 20th century. African Americans now take pride in calling themselves black, a term that Caucasians not only once used to identify their color, but also their second-class status in a segregated society. So my point is, whether we like the name or not, let's be proud of our label today. Let's stand up, well, sitting down for some of us, and tell the world today that we are disabled. We're not wheelchair-bound, blind, deaf, mute, autistic, dyslexic, or dystrophic. There are almost one billion of us. We're not a minority, okay? You may laugh at us because we're different, but we laugh at you because you're all the same. No offense. Yes, our lives are filled with struggles, but there's strength in numbers. Three out of every 20 human beings are disabled. So stop treating us differently. Because, hey, both disabled and abled people make mistakes. Christopher Columbus got lost, and he wasn't even blind. And we need to quit being pitiful of ourselves because we get made fun of, or we can't fit in, or we can't do this or that or the other thing. Because guess what? Our hearts are unchangeable. We are feelers. We gave the world the adventures of Professor X and the music of Beethoven, Stevie Wonder, Kenny G, Ray Charles, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Dupre, and Django Reinhardt. And the wonder of Captain Underpants. We are thinkers. We're good at math because we discovered the mass energy equation e equals mc squared for all you science nerds. And we're pretty good at letters too. We are doctors, engineers, architects, techies, and so much more. And we mean business. We are dedicated, reliable, and have great innovative potential. We are huge and efficient in all time zones, but we run on, but we run on one clock. And sure, people may call us slow, but I personally think it's better to be the tortoise than the hare. At the end of the day, we never want anything more than love and acceptance because we already have everything we need. 
wheelchairs, Microsoft Sam, hearing aids, Google Glass, prosthetic limbs, braille readers, robots, and of course, courage. All us, all impaired. And you're welcome, world, for the telephone that revolutionized long-distance communication and the phonograph, which first recorded our dearest memories, and the theory of relativity, which helped us understand speed and perspective in terms of space at a whole new level. Our spirits are strong. Our ideas are strong. Our creations are strong. Society is... Lucky? When the world strives, we exceed. In fact, we're practically the destroyers of discrimination. And we gave you Stephen Hawking, Albert Einstein, Alexander Graham Bell, Helen Keller, and even President Franklin D. Roosevelt. This world is amazing and awesome. And no matter where you are or who you are, you can always find the influence of disabled people all over the world. We are not weak, but strong. We are disabled, but we are unbreakable. Thank you so much. And now, I want to share with you all a little gift from me to you. And I believe this is a perfect musical testimony of this last statement. We are disabled, but we are unbreakable. Introducing the new version of the Indian Inclusion Summit's theme song, Asma Kebar. I've added some of my own rap to it. I hope you like it. A bird, when it flies, doesn't care about its size And airplanes, even with their weight, can soar across the skies From STEM to arts to sports, we have traveled far Even though they said we wouldn't make it Do you know who we are? Meri kaya ke bhet kuch alag se hai Na hai galat, na hai sahi Kudrat ke se intizam ka मैं हूँ वो खास तुम नहीं मिल भी जाए अगर एक जन्म और फिर जी दूँगा मैं उसे सो बार आसमां के पार 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 Everyone is blessed each differently than the rest but we all have the zest to live life to the fullest no matter our ability we all can breathe in life in ways people can't imagine the obstacles are rife we may not have voices but we are not unheard yes we may seem trapped but we are freer than birds you may say we're cursed but we're miracles in disguise and you may try to put us down but we will always rise कुछ सपने बुने आँखों ने कुछ अपने चुने राहों ने कुछ हसरते बढ़ने लगी कुछ चाहते जगने लगी मंजिले रह गई खुद भी खुद पीछे और हम उड़ चले आसमां के पास Thank you so much, everyone. Let's go out there today and tell the world we are disabled. We are proud of that label. We always will be. Thank you. Thank